Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about ling cod fishing and fishing for them with artificials. And the number one jig I like to use is the Magic Metals. You want to use a 10 ounce model. Chrome is probably the number one color for ling cod. I don't know why, but they really like that shiny chrome. And you can fish it just like it is like this. Or if you have a strip of mackerel, a strip of rockfish, you can add that on there. It gives it a little bit more action. And the way you want to fish this is let it sink all the way down the bottom, get right on the rocks. You don't want to leave it right on the rocks because as you drift over the rocks, you're going to snag them. Remember that bottom is jaggy and stuff. So some of the spots are really, really bad and you can just lose jigs so quick. So what I like to do when I'm targeting Linka is let the jig hit the bottom and then dart it back as fast as you can, about five or six cranks and then stop it. And then let it gently float back down to the bottom and then make it dart up again. And as it's darting away, lean cods cannot just resist that. They, they attack it. It looks like a bait fish trying to escape. And they run up and they catch it. So when you get bit on that, just keep winding. And, you know, don't worry about setting the hook too much. Because when the fish comes and attacks it like that, he's going to pretty much set himself on there. And you're fishing down 200, 300 feet, sometimes over 300 feet. You know, the, the monofilament stretches so much. So if you have some spectra or some braided line on there, it'll keep it from stretching. You might have a chance to set the hook. But at 300 feet with straight mono, there's no way you're going to set the hook. Just keep winding the line, keep it tight. And if it is a lean cod that you get up to the surface, make sure that you ask for a gaff quickly. Because lots of times what we call them are hitchhikers. You might have a small rockfish on here that you didn't even know you had. And a big lean cod, 20, 30, 40 pound lean cod, it's attached to that. And that lean cod's not even on the hook. He's just holding on to that bait fish or that little rockfish that you caught. So you always want to stick those big lean cods in the water about a foot deep so you don't have to worry about them coming off. And other than using the magic metal jigs, the other way I like to catch uh, lean cod is with the B52 six ounce model. And then take a big tail like this, or again, like a strip of mackerel or a whole mackerel you can put on there, pin it down there. This rig I like a lot um, when there's lean cod and reds mixed in. I catch a lot of red snapper on this. You use a big old sluggo bait or a soft plastic bait on the big tail like that. I know it looks like a huge bait. It looks like it's way too big to use for rockfish, but believe me, it works really, really good. And you can fish lighter line with this. I use 20 pound gear sometimes, um, and that works really good to get it down there. It makes it a little bit more sporty. You catch a big red on an outfit like this or a smaller ling, it just makes it lots of fun bringing it up. So that's today's blog. You know, the water's a little bit colder. There's still sand bass to catch out there, but you know, ling cod is great fishing. You gotta check closures, because there's a lot of closures now, this month and next month. So you gotta check those closures carefully, find out where you're fishing, what species are legal. But if you go out of San Diego, go into Mexican waters, you can go fish a little bit deeper. You can use a few more hooks and fish like ling cod, red snapper are still in season all through the winter months too. Okay, well, keep up to date everything we're doing. Sign up for our Facebook page. Become a fan of us on sport fishing. And make sure you go to our website and sign up for the free newsletter. Well, thanks again for watching my show, and I'll see you on the water this week.